Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the collapse load in a fixed beam when it is subjected to uniformly distributed load for the first half span. We are going to use two methods, static method and kinematic method. First, let us use static method. This is the bending moment diagram during the collapse. To make this ordinate, we have to consider this beam as a simply supported beam. Let us see how this ordinate comes. Here I have considered a simply supported beam with the UDL for the first half span. To find RA, let us take moment about B. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is L. So RA into L. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. The UDL is acting for the distance of L upon 2. So we have to multiply W with L upon 2. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to take half of this distance. So L upon 2 into 1 upon 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance. So plus L upon 2. Here we can take LCM. 2L plus 4L we will get 6L. We can take this term on the right side. So it will be positive. We can eliminate L. 3 twos are 6. Finally, for RA, we are getting 3WL upon 8. Let us assume that the maximum bending moment occurs at C, which is at a distance of X from the left support. Let us find the moment in the point C. RA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Here, the distance is x, so x into x by 2. x into x, we will get x square. This is the bending moment in the point C. This is how this ordinate comes. In this beam, during the collapse, we will have plastic moment here, here and here. If this height is MB, this height also should be MB. This total height should be equal to this term. This height is MB plus MB. So, MB plus MB is 3WX LX upon 8 minus WC X square upon 2. MB plus MB, we will get 2MB. We can take this 2 on the other side. 8 into 2, we will get 16. 2 into 2, we will get 4. For MB to be maximum, we have to differentiate with respect to X. And we have to equate that to 0. When we differentiate x, it will be 1. When we differentiate x square, it will be 2x. 2 twos are 4. We can take this term on the other side, so it will be positive. We can eliminate wc. 8 twos are 16. So finally for x, we are getting 3L upon 8. In this expression, let us apply the value of x. Then using the calculator, we can simplify. For mb, we are getting 9wc L square upon 256. And for wc, we are getting 256mb upon 9L square. 
otherwise we can divide 256 by 9 so we will get in decimal in this way we are getting wc which is equal to 28.44 mb upon l square now let us use kinematic method in the static method we knew that the plastic hinge occurs at a distance of 3L upon 8 from the left support. In that distance, the virtual displacement delta occurs. We can find the remaining distance by subtracting 3L upon 8 by L. When we do that, we are getting 5L upon 8. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon 3L upon 8. We can take 3L upon 8 inversely and then multiply. So for tan theta 1, we will get 8 delta upon 3L then theta 1 will be very small. So, then theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. So, we can take theta 1 is equal to 8 delta upon 3L. Delta is equal to 3L theta 1 upon 8. Now, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, then theta 2 is equal to delta upon 5L upon 8. We can take this inversely and then multiply. Then for tan theta 2, we will get 8 delta upon 5L. We know that tan theta 2 will be approximately equal to theta 2. So we can take theta 2 is equal to 8 delta upon 5L. For delta, we can apply this value. We can eliminate L and 8. 3 upon 5, we will get 0 0.6. So, for theta 2, we are getting 0 0.6 theta 1. Now, let us find the internal work done. In this beam, in the fixed end A, we have a plastic hinge. In the fixed end B also, we have a plastic hinge. Under the load, at a distance of 3L upon 8, we have plastic hinge. So, totally there are three plastic hinges. First, let us take this plastic hinge. Here, we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. In this plastic hinge, we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Finally, in this hinge, we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. To find the internal work done, we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.6 theta 1. Finally, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 3.2 MB theta 1. Now, we are going to find the external work done. In this beam, for the first half, we have UDL. On the right half also, let us apply UDL. This UDL is acting downwards. Let us give UDL upwards also. You can see that for the right half, I have applied UDL downwards and upwards. The downward UDL and the upward UDL will get eliminated. So, there will be no error in this problem. Now, we have to find this height. It is at the distance of L upon 2 from the point B. Let us name this height as delta 1. For the distance of 5L upon 8, the height is delta. So, for 5L upon 8, it is delta. But, we need the height at the distance of L upon 2. So, we have to multiply L upon 2 with this. We can take 5L upon 8 inversely and then multiply. So, we will get this. L will be eliminated. 
5 into 2, 10. 8 upon 10, we will get 0 0.8. So, this height is 0 0.8 delta. Now, we are going to find the external work done. First, let us consider the UDL acting downwards. It is acting for the full span. For the UDL acting downwards, we have to consider the whole triangle. To find the external work done, we have to multiply the load WC with the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is half into delta into L. Now let us find the external work done for the upward UDL. For that we have to multiply the load WC with the area of this triangle. Area of this triangle is half into L upon 2 into delta 1. Since the UDL is acting upwards, the work done should be negative. We know that delta 1 is equal to 0 0.8 delta. So for delta 1, we can apply 0 0.8 delta. To find the total external work done, we have to add these two. After adding, we are getting 0 0.3 WC delta L. Now let us equate the external work done and internal work done. For delta, we can apply 3L theta 1 upon 8. After simplification for WC, we are getting 28.44 MB upon L square. Also, we can make an expression for MB which is equal to 0.0351 WC L square. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.